What's up guys, Camero here, and welcome to part 32 of my How to Make a Pokemon Game tutorial series. In this episode, we're going to be making our own custom Pokeballs. First, I'm going to show you how to make them as items, and then I'm going to show you what scripts you need to edit to change the functionality of your Pokeballs. And then finally, we're going to be editing some art, so that way it's reflected in-game. With that said, let's get into it. So, the very first thing you want to do when you're making a Pokeball is actually add it as an item. So, go to your items.txt in your... PBS folder, and I mean, we, we've added items before in other tutorials, but just as a, a touch-up, we're going to be making another new item. So the most recent item is 598, so underneath at the very bottom, we'll add item 599, comma. And one thing that we can really do is just copy a Pokeball and then edit that for our own purposes. So I used Control F to find the Pokeball line, now I can just really copy all of this, go down to the bottom paste it in. So I was thinking I should make a new Pokeball, and I wanted to call it a Magma Ball, and it's very good at catching Pokemon that are fire type. It's just going to be really basic. So instead of a Pokeball, we're going to call this a Magma Ball. There we go. Cool. So there's our Magma Ball, and I'll say it's a device for catching wild Pokemon. It is effective at catching fire types. There we go. So just as a brief reminder, this number here, this three, that means that it is in the third pouch of your bag, which is the Pokeball bag. And these numbers here, zero, two, and four, they help define the functionality of the item. So zero, two, and four at the end means it'll be thrown like a Pokeball and treated as such. So cool, we've got our Pokeball created. So the next thing we need to do is make art for it. So I was thinking, um, graphics, icons, scroll down all the way. I was thinking the magma ball should be kind of red, kind of orange to be kind of fiery. So I already made it. Um, item 599 right here. It is just a pokeball that's like orange on the bottom. It's nothing too fancy, nothing too crazy, but cool. There is our magma ball. So it has been created. It is in the game already. The thing is, it doesn't do anything different than a normal pokeball. So. Let's edit it in the scripts so that way it does do something different. Because right now, if we use it, it'll just be... Actually, no, I don't think it's even possible to use yet because we haven't added it to the scripts yet. So it's a Pokeball, but it doesn't do anything. So you're going to want to go to pitem underscore Pokeballs, the script, and scroll down until you find a list of all the Pokeballs. Another way to get here easily is just from any script. You can just do Control shift f and then I like to type in Great Ball. And this is all the places in the game where Great Ball has been defined, so then you want to go to p-item underscore Pokeballs. There are other scripts where it's defined, but that's just like if it can be picked up from the ability pickup and stuff. But yeah, here we go. So ball types, and then you'll see 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. You'll see this whole long list of Pokeballs. 0 is just a base Pokeball, 1 is a Great Ball, 2 is Safari, 3 Ultra. You, you get the idea, the whole list. So if we want to make our own Pokeball, a Magma Ball, we want to add it. So at the very bottom, do comma, enter, and then since the last one was 23, we'll make ours 24, and uh, we'll add Magma Ball to the list. Cool. So now Magma Ball, if an item has the name Magma Ball, then it's a Magma Ball here. Cool. So it has been added to our list of ball types. So now what we need to do is scroll down and look at how other Pokeballs have been defined and then use that to make our own. So you'll see here, there's this thing, there's this function called modify catch rate. What this is doing, so essentially the base catch rate for Pokeballs is just a standard and then everything else is modified from that. So for example, a great ball has the catch rate of a Pokeball, but slightly better. In this case, it's times three over two, meaning it's 150% better. So a great ball is 150% better at catching Pokemon than a regular Pokeball. Ultra Ball is twice as good, because it's just catch rate times two. Master Ball will never fail. So you'll see you'll see a lot. Um, what I'd highly recommend you do is you just scroll down and take a look at all of these and, how, and see how they're defined. It's really interesting. Like, for example, a Net Ball has a catch rate of times three if the Pokemon you're fighting is of type Bug or it's of type Water. Otherwise, it'll just have the basic catch rate. So. If you throw a net ball and the Pokemon type isn't bug or water, then it just has the normal catch rate. But if the Pokemon does is of type bug or of type water, 
then it's three times as effective. Or something that's insane is a dive ball has a catch rate of times seven over two, meaning that's 3.5, so 350% if the um, battle environment is underwater. So if you throw a dive ball underwater, it's actually 350% of the normal catch rate, which is like, wow. So you'll you can see a lot of cool examples, but we want to make our own. So let's take the net ball, because ours is going to be good against fire type, and we can really just copy it, scroll down to the bottom, and then paste it. So instead of it being a net ball, it'll be a magma ball. Cool. And it'll be times three if the battler is type fire. And then we can just delete the second part. If you wanted it to be good against more types, you could just do two of these lines again, because that's the symbol for or. So it could be good against fire or water or blah. Like you can make it go on as long as you want, but we only want to do it against one type. We're going to be making a really basic ball here today. So yeah, the capture rate is times three if the battler is of type fire. Otherwise, it's just a normal Pokeball. Cool. So that's already the script done for our new Pokemon. Like like I said before, I highly recommend you look at how all the other Pokemon are, um, how the other Pokeballs are defined. Like one thing, actually, I forgot to mention, the one thing that's really interesting is you can modify the Pokemon after you catch it. For example, the friend ball, um, it, ca it raises the Pokemon's happiness. And then you can use other values, such as PB raise effort values, to change like the Pokemon stats. Like for example, this line right here raises the EVs, the health EVs, HP EVs of a Pokemon by 20 when they're caught with a friend ball. I just did this as a little test to see if you could do it, but yeah, I'm sure you could get creative and do other functions as well. But yeah, for this, we're just doing a real something really basic. So our Magma Ball is good against fire types. Cool. So now it works in game, but there's one other thing that has to be done. We haven't done the art for our Pokeball yet. So if you, uh, I'll bust out my Photoshop and I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. So this is the item um, that we already made. And then here is two images. There's ball00.png and ball00 underscore open.png. These will be in your graphics pictures folder. And this corresponds to the number of your ball. So for example, I believe, yeah, ball one is a great ball. So if we go into our scripts and scroll up, number one is a great ball. Cool. So um, this is if you're not using elite battle system. If you are not using Elite Battle System, you need to go into your Graphics Pictures folder and make one for your ball. So if we're doing one for our Magma Ball, we'd want to just copy the Pokeball and rename this to be ball, I believe, 24.png. And then this would be ball24 underscore open.png. And then we would edit it, so that way it would be like orange, similar to our item. But the thing is, we are using Elite Battle System, so I'm going to show you how to edit it if you're using Elite Battle System now. So in your Graphics Pictures folder, there should be another folder called EBS. Go in there, and then there is a file called Pokeballs.png. So I already have that open in Photoshop, and it's this huge array of Pokeballs. This huge grid. And the way it works is every column is a Pokeball. So this is column 0 right here, and this is the base Pokeball. This is column one, so it's a great ball. Pretty nice. Um, so, if we want to add our Pokeball art, you want to go to column 24, all the way over here. So I've added it. What I've done is I've edited the Pokeball sprite and just made it orange on the bottom. So this will this will be the art that you see when you throw out your ball in battle, or when you try to catch a Pokemon with it. So, all of these have to be edited. So if you want to add more Pokeballs, I believe you can just add on to the side of the image. Very similar to what we did with the types. If you remember that video, um, you just add on to it and then it'll work just fine. So yeah, this is how you edit Pokeballs if you want to use Elite Battle System. And uh, with that said, let's test it out. I think we've done everything that we need to to test it out. Everything should work perfectly now. So let's run into our game and test it. So yeah. Uh, as, a, as a brief summary, the art that you need to do is you need to make the item image, which is in the icons folder, 
and you need to either do two pictures in your pictures folder for the ball being closed or open, or you need to go to Elite Battle System and edit a column on the grid of images. So let's go and debug ourselves some magma balls. Add item. Let's see if I can find it pretty quick. Cool. Magma ball. I'll give myself a bunch of them. So now we can go into our bag. And there, it's in the third bag. It's with the rest of our Pokeballs. It's a magma ball. And it has the description that we set earlier at the beginning of the video. It's effective at catching fire types. And it has the art that we set too. Cool. So now if I go into a battle. So I've made this route full of fire types. So we should be able to catch one pretty easily with a magma ball. Nice. It's a level five Ponyta. This should be no problem. Remember, magma balls are three times as effective when they're thrown against fire types. So let's go to our Pokeballs, let's go to our magma ball, and let's use it. Cool, and there, it's using the art. See, it's orange. It's using the art that we set in the Elite Battle System Pokeballs image. And it caught it, of course, because magma balls are pretty awesome against fire types, as we set. We, we could have made it five times as effective, we could have made it even more as effective if, if we wanted. But yeah, that is how you make your own custom Pokeballs. Cool. So that's pretty easy. Uh, like I said before, if you want to do anything more complex, you want to... I would re highly recommend you look at all of the Pokeballs and see how they're defined and consult them when making your own. Um, like, there's some that are more effective against certain species, there's some that are more effective if the Pokemon weighs more, you know, there's a whole lot of stuff here at your disposal that you can look at and you can reference, and I highly recommend you do. But yeah, that's the end of the video. Hopefully this video helped you out. If you want to make super crazy custom Pokeballs, you totally have the power to do so. It just requires a little bit of art and a little bit of script editing, but other than that, it's not too hard. Like, uh, yeah, so, like I said before, I hope this video helped you out. Um, be sure to follow on Twitch and Twitter and join the Thundaga Discord. And, um, yeah, if you have any questions, let me know. Hopefully, I think this was pretty straightforward. I hope it was. And, uh, yeah, hopefully I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys. <laughs>